Now, students, let us see this word problem. Important, important problem this is. This is important problem. Mark it, and I will send you notes. Some of the questions you have to do it, and then we we'll discuss on the problems on three sets. Let us see. In a certain town, 25 percent of families own a pool. In a certain town, 25 percent of families own a pool, and 15 percent own a car. 65 own neither a pool nor a car. 20,000 families on the both. Uh, see here, 25,000 families on both uh, a car and a pool. Consider the following statements in this regards. S1 is 10% of family own both car and pool. S2 is 35% of family own need either a car or a pool. S3 is 40,000 families families. Uh, I'll just explain you in detail this question. You you can pass and find out your answer, and then you can check the video. Okay. Let's see here how to deal this problem. Okay. Totally, how many students? How many are there in a certain town? Twenty-five percent families own a phone. Number of phone is equal to twenty-five percent. Look at this. Okay. And then after he say in a uh, and he say fifteen own a car. 15% number of car is equal to 15% and then after saying 65% own neither neither means what here neither phone nor car means outside is it let us see here if you are taking a phone set and the car set 65% are neither they are outside and he saying that 25% are Twenty percent. 
So here, what you got here? Five percent of the phone and car is five percent. So five percent of the total family members. Let oh shit. Okay, for the total, five percent of total is equal to twenty thousand members. Is asking that how many are living in the town? Let us number of people are living in the town is how much here? Uh, y. Let us take Y. So here Y is equal to five percent means five by hundred. Five percent means five by hundred is equal to from the total town five percent of the town people are twenty thousand. I just tell you here five percent of the people having both a car and phone. Car phone how many are there in the town? Five percent. So total members five percent is twenty thousand members is given. Twenty thousand families have both phone and car. So total members we don't know the total members. Let us take Y. In that Y, five percent of Y will be five Y by hundred is twenty thousand. Then Y you can calculate here. Y will be is equal to twenty thousand into hundred by five. Okay. So let us cancel here five ones are five fours are cancel. The so total is forty thousand people are living in this town. So S three is also correct. Means S two S three correct. So C option C that S two S three correct. C option is the right answer for this. Hope you understand. Now we have finished problems based on two sets. Now we are going to start problems based on three sets. So before to start problems based on three sets, I'll discuss in detail. Okay, what is here? So here one thing here you have three sets, A set, B set, and C sets. So we will discuss the board problems on the three sets. Let us see here. This is A. This is B. This is C. Okay, you have taken this is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Already I explained you. Just I am recalling here. Only A, only A is the already I explained you A. Only B is equal to B. Only C is equal to C. Already I have explained everything. One thing I forgot to tell you. At least one. At least one meaning is whenever you get at least one. At least, at least one. Whenever you get us, at least one. At least one. Okay. At least one. Whenever they say at least one, the meaning is all will get union. At least one means one or more than one. One or more than one. The answer is A plus B plus A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G. At least one meaning is one or more than one. At least two meaning is at least two. I just forgot to tell this thing. At least one is. A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G. One or more than one. At least two means D plus B plus E plus F plus G. At least three means at least three in this case is at least three is your G. G you get. Okay. This is the one point I missed in the previous lecture. I explained about this one. Only A, only B, only C. I have explained one more thing. What are here? What is A and B?
information if you know, we can solve any type of question. Exactly here also, when you have two sets also, in these two sets, this is A set, this is B set, A, B, C. At least one in this case is what? At least one. At least one of the game is nothing but A plus B plus C here. At least one means A plus B plus C. At least two means, at least two, at least two meaning is here. At least one here, A plus B plus C. At least two means A plus C. Remember that. So this is the information I want to give you. So we will solve the questions based on three sets tomorrow. And we will end the chapter on Monday. And we will start the new J topic. Uh, that is very important topics we are going to start. Actually, this topic is not that much important. And I what is required for J point of view, word problems and these. I just explain you relations, all these uh, things will come later. Only sex is the topic is I have covered just right now. Okay, I don't want to extend this one very long. This is not so much important chapter. So I just want to give you cl some clear picture. Sometimes if you get sex, you will confuse what we are writing here. So that is the reason I explain this chapter. Okay, in the further lecture, lecture I will explain about the problems based on 